Hi, it's Grandma Ray. I love children, I love books, and I especially love reading books to children. That's why today I'm recommending and reading What the No Good Baby is Good For. There we go. Is there a baby in your house? This is written by Elise Broach and illustrated by Abby Carter. When the no good baby had been at John's house for weeks and weeks and months and months and more than half of a year, John decided it was time for her to go. There we go. He, there's John and the baby. He was tired of the way she grabbed his toys and sucked on them. He was tired of the way she cried and cried when he looked at books or tried to watch a movie. He was tired of the way she always fell asleep just when it was time to play marching band. He was tired of sharing and understanding and being quiet. Uh-oh. Those are all things we have to do when there's a baby in the house. That no good baby is good for nothing, he told his mother. It's time for her to go. But John, said his mother, what would we do without our darling no good baby? What would they do? That's a good question. Lots of things, said John. We could play go fish and nobody would eat the cards. That's true, said John's mother. We could bang my drum all afternoon and we wouldn't wake anybody up. I do miss you banging your drum, said John's mother. See, said John, that no good baby is good for nothing. It's time for her to go. Uh-oh, do you think mom's going to agree? I guess you're right, said John's mother. I am, said John. Yes, said his mother. Really, said John. Really, said his mother. If that no good baby is so much trouble, then it's time for her to go. Hooray, yelled John. Well, this is not going where I thought it was going to go. I didn't think Mom was going to be happy about getting rid of the baby. Can you help me pack her things? Asked his mother. John ran to get a suitcase, but not a very big one, because he didn't want the no good baby to take too many things with her. He pulled the no good baby's clothes from her dresser drawer. The no good baby grabbed them and started throwing them around the room. See? said John. That no good baby is good for nothing. She's always throwing things and making a big mess. I see, said John's mother. That's not good. Well, she is making a mess, isn't she? Babies are kind of messy sometimes. John picked up the clothes and discovered a Cheerio on the floor. It's only good when she throws Cheerios and makes the floor crunchy to walk on. She is good for making the floor crunchy. Well, said John's mother, I am glad we found one, good, one thing that no good baby is good for. Do you like it when the floor is crunchy? <laughs> I, I don't really like it when the floor is crunchy. John's mother took a bag of diapers out of the closet. The no good baby pulled out one of the bag and squeezed it until it was wrinkly. See, said John, that no good baby is good for nothing. She's always squeezing things and wrecking them. I see, said John's mother, that's not good. John took the diaper away from the no good baby and put the kitty in her lap. It's only good when she squeezes the kitty's tail. She is good for squeezing the kitty's tail because then the kitty likes me best of all. Well, said John's mother, that makes two good things the no good baby is good for. <laughs> you, know, you think the cat likes, likes John better when, when the baby squeezes his tail? John found the no good baby's jingle bear Jingle Bell Bear in her crib and put it in the suitcase. The no good baby grabbed the Jingle Bell Bear and shook it again and again, squealing loud, loud, loud. See, said John, that no good baby is good for nothing. She's always making too much noise. I see, said John's mother, that is not good. It's only good when she makes too much noise at the library. She is good for making noise at the library because she's always louder than I am, said John. Well, said John's mother, that makes three things the no good baby is good for. Uh-oh, they're finding an awful lot of good things that no good baby is good for. 
John's mother put the no good baby's blanket next to the suitcase. The no good baby snatched it and crawled across the room. See, said John, that no good baby is good for nothing. She's always taking things and running away with them. I see, said John's mother, that's not good. John ran after her. It's only good when we're having a race. She's good for having races cause she always loses. Well, said John's mother, that makes four things the no good baby is good for. Oh, do you think they'll find any more? Could you beat a baby if you were if you were having a race? John's mother put the no good baby's clothes and diapers and jingle bell bear and blanket in the suitcase and zipped it shut. I guess that's everything, she said. Yes, said John, it's time for her to go. John looked at the no good baby. She made a wet, bubbly noise and spit dribbled down her chin. How far will the no good baby go? He asked his mother. Maybe to grandma's house, said his mother. Oh, that's good, said John, she'll like that. Do you want to give the no good baby a hug goodbye? Asked John's mother. Okay, said John. Ow, see that no good baby is good for nothing. She always pulls hair. I see, said John's mother. That's not good. Babies do like to pull hair. That's true. It's only good when Timmy comes over and won't give me back my drum. And then she pulls his hair. She is good for pulling other people's hair, said John. See, said John's mother. That makes five things the no good baby is good for, which is quite a lot. Do you think you will miss her? No said John. Not even a little? asked John's mother. No, said John. I think she will miss you, said John's mother. I think she will miss making the floor crunchy for you and squeezing Kitty's tail harder than you and being louder at the library than you and having races with you and pulling Timmy's hair for you. She will miss you a lot. Do you think the baby will miss John? I think she probably will. That's true, said John. She will miss me a lot. Oh, look, he's giving her a kiss. Right on top of her head. John's mother put the no good baby's jacket and hat on her. The no good baby clapped her hands and laughed. Is she going to grandma's forever? John asked his mother. Forever is a long time, said John's mother. Forever is a very long time. Do you think he wants her gone forever? Maybe she could go to grandma's just for today, said John, for the whole day. That's a good idea, said John's mother, for the whole day. And then it will be just us. Oh, look, there's grandma. Grandma took the baby. Baby's gonna spend all day with grandma. Yes, said John's mother. Then it will be just us. Aw, that's sweet. But the baby will come back. I think that's a good thing. If you'd like to know more about the book or your parents would like to know more about the book, the information's in the show notes. I hope you'll join me again sometime. Bye-bye.